Hello and welcome back to Sunday Lead Moments. On a Wednesday, Wednesday Lead Moments doesn't really work and already is a Wednesday lead, which most of the players today have already played in. AC Plymouth today away to Woolwell Juniors and here's a starting lineup. In between the sticks, as always, it's Coops. Back four of Jake, Bernie, Samip and Courtney. Midfield four of Callum on the right, James on the left, Will and Alex through the centre. And then up top, it's Finn and Gabe. Subs bench looks like this. It's Sherritt, Tom, Fraser and George, who hasn't actually turned up yet. I think the way AC can look at this game is winnable as Samet plays the ball out to Jake on this near side. He tries to get the ball forward to Alex, but he's beaten to it by number 17. His man sticks it through to 12. He's in on goal, dinks it over Coops, but Samet's there on the line to clear. And then Courtney clears it even further. A very nervy start for AC. Yeah. Line it, line Go on, Callum. Time. Ah. Listen to the shout, Callum. Well then, Callum. Oh, who's that to? More of AC bringing out from the back as Samip again plays out to Jake on this near side. He sends up the line to Callum, who nuts his man, number two. Finn sticks it back to Callum. Callum sticks it forward to Gabe. He's running in on goal from a very tight angle and dinks it well over the crossbar. Will now on that far side, switching the ball across towards Callum. Lovely control by Callum on the chest to hold the ball up from his two men. Gives it to Alex. Alex back to Callum. Callum hooks across into the middle, which Sam, the Woolwell keeper, has to palm away. And number three, I think that is, clears his lines. Only as far as Courtney there, pressured by one of the number 17s. There's actually two of them, and he wins a throw-in. Courtney takes that throw-in into Gabe. Gabe holds off his man, gives it back to James. James into Courtney, who's in on goal here. Gets a shot away, but Sam was off his line well to claim and save. Oh. Woolwell now on that far side, racing around James. Stick the ball into the middle. It's behind one man. Bernie slices his clearance. Will not with a great touch as the ball's teed up here towards number eight, who gets a shot away. Coops parries it but Courtney's there to clear. Not convincingly though, as Alex goes over there, and then Courtney clears a bit more convincingly. Up towards Finn, who knocks the ball down to Gabe. Gabe sticks it onto this near side for Callum, who's been very heavily involved. He sticks the ball forward to Finn. Looks to be an inch perfect ball, but Sam, the goalkeeper, is off his line well. One of the Woolwell number 17s now, playing the ball into the middle. Number eight gets played it as he takes a shot. Right footed, high over the crossbar, and someone's just turned up to be on the bench for AC, and it's George in his work gear. Not quite the right boots for football, but we've got spares in the bag somewhere. Ball with Woolwell now in the centre. Plays the ball up towards number 10, who goes to take on Coops, who's in no man's land. Dinks the ball over the top, but Bernie's there to save, and then Jake clears his lines. Not that you really saw that. Fantastic save by Bernie, and it's already two blocks on the line for AC. As the first subs here are made, and it's Sherrett and Fraser going on, and it's James and Alex who make way. This is easy. Oh, he's getting some shrimp pads for George. <laughs> Go on. Go on, head on. It's, it's so hard to see the monitor. Come in. Just going to see. Go on, James, look up! Come on, Gabe! Come on, you can do better than that, Gabe. Go on, Callum, well done. Well done, Jake. AC now with a throw in from this near side. Gabe takes it long, angled, looking towards Finn to knock it down. Ball's cleared as far as Will, who's off camera, who stews his shot well, well wide. And straight from that shot, he gets subbed off for Tom. <laughs> Shippers. Good way to end it, Will. <laughs> and it's Tom into the action here, trying to stand up number eight, who dinks the ball over the top towards the other number 17. 17, there with a shot from a very tight angle, sends it well wide of goal. Confident in Jake Cooper's ability. I don't know why. <laughs> 
escape now from this near side with another long throw. Again looking for Finn, again headed away, and again a first time shot, this time by Sherritt, is a bit closer to goal, and was very sweetly struck, unlucky. <laughs> Tube's <laughs> 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 running out for that. I would have loved to have seen that if he carried on with running that. Running out for that. <laughs> Slides in. Well played, AC. Is that nil nil? What's the score, AC? Half time in this one. Nil nil. Incredible. First time in memory it's been nil nil at half time in an AC game. AC and Woolwell both having chances. It's a very even game as it stands. Chip, so I can stop recording. Oh, well done. <laughs> I'm going to get one from Josh as well. From really zoomed in. Oh, no, no. <laughs> Come on, keep going. Always start it with a whistle. Come on, look up, look up. You always start it with a whistle. You just have, have to put one in. Edit the salt ash one in. Yeah, but you don't start to edit a kick off in. <laughs> yeah, edit the salt ash kick off into this video. It's an even game which AC are trying to win as Fraser's corner finds Sherritt's header, but he sends it wide of the goal. Gabe now on that far side now, trying to utilise his long throws. Only finds the man marking Callum as it falls out to Tom here. Just bang it. No, nope. well, he sort of did, but he skewed it horrendously in the air. And now Woolwell can counter with number 12, I think that is. He sticks the ball over the top. Bernie heads it down, but only to a Woolwell man who runs at the AC defence. Then it's played through. Coops makes a great sliding challenge to make the save. Woolwell starting to play counter-attacking football as Jake there puts the ball out and it's time for another AC sub. And here's another new thing at AC, two games left for AC ever and we're introducing another thing and it's a triple substitution as James, Alex and Will go on for Gabe, Finn and Jake. Well, well, again now coming forward. Samip sticks his foot in. Tom clears it up in the air. Nodded down. Tom then misses his interception. There's a ball stuck over and 17. Brilliantly controlled to dink it over Samip and then volley, but Coop's got plenty behind it. And that's Nick. What's he doing? It's relaxed. Tubes has got us. Callum now on the ball. Sticks the ball forward over Alex's head as far as Tom, who takes on two men and then bangs it. Fantastic strike from Tom and a fantastic save. That would have been unreal. Fraser takes the resulting corner, doesn't really find a clear shot as Will tries to get an effort goalwards, but Sam can easily save. Mounting pressure from AC, this time Fraser takes the corner from this near side, finds Will in the middle, doesn't really head it in any sort of direction, and Woolwell can counter as the ball's stuck forward. Sam Ips trying to sprint back. But the man's called us offside by John. Will now, lovely footwork to play a 1 2 with Fraser as he cuts inside on his right foot, hooks a hopeful ball into the middle, suns in Sam's eyes, and he has to dink it over the crossbar. As Callum now makes way, and it's George wearing Matt's old number seven shirt who goes on. Fraser takes that corner and it finds George in the middle who heads it over the crossbar from point-blank range. That would have been some introduction, almost Nicholas Bentner-esque. International from Denmark, Nicholas Bentner. Comes on for the corner. Bentner! What an arrival for him! 
Are you counting the corners? Because I can't, as Fraser takes another one. That one's flicked on at the near post. Truck nearly found George again, but we were able to clear as number two there. Just slices it out for another corner. Again, Fraser takes it high into the area, looking for Sher. It comes off of Will. Sher tries to get the ball down, and the shot eventually goes in, but it's poor, and Sam can easily save. Ball now with Woolwell on that far side, trying to conjure up some chances, and they haven't had many this second half. As the man runs down the side, James's tackle isn't convincing as he's filling in at right back. As the ball finds number 17, who shoots on the bubble, past Coops into the back of the net. Well, well, we'll be very happy with that one, having weathered the storm, and that's 1-0 to the hosts. And it's Woolwell who almost adds to their one goal with another. It's 15 sticks of the long ball over the top, 10 shoots, Coops gets a touch on it, and James is there to clear up. However, Woolwell again coming forward with the ball, this time from a free kick. It's nodded on towards number 15, in on goal. Coops saves with his feet, and then Samek is able to cut away from number 17 and clear it up pitch. George now on the ball, sticking the ball up towards Alex up top versus their number nine, who shields the ball off. Sam then makes the ball and Alex falls over the top of him. Double change here as Finn and Gable roll back on and it's Sam Courtney and Sam Sherritt who make way. Ball with Woolwell trying to come forward here versus Tom, but Bernie comes in covering for Tom, sticks his foot in, wins the ball back well. It's with Finn who's at right back. He sends the ball forward towards George. George at right mid sends it back to Finn. Finn looks inside, plays it up towards Fraser. Fraser uses the bobble to his advantage as he beats one man, gives it to Gabe who tries to do the same, but his man clears it. Only as far as George on the edge, Arms from number eight all over him, but he's doing just about as much to him as he holds him off. Gabe's not very happy as Finn loses out. Number 17 picks up the ball and George gives away a free kick out of frustration. Played George. Another sub here as James, who's been playing at left back and right back and left mid, makes way for Callum on at right mid as AC go to a back three. Throw in from that far side, sent forward over Alex's head, I think that is. Ball bounces down here for Tom with a shot, left footed, that one's blocked. Tom then gets the ball onto his favoured right foot, takes on one man, then takes on the other, into the area, cuts the ball across, but the defender makes it before Alex, and Woolwell survive yet another attack. Woolwell throw from this near side, number nine sending the ball forward. Will heads it in the right direction for AC, Tom tries to flick it on, Gabe picks up the ball, up against their number six, cuts inside of him, sticks the ball over the top, Fraser's in on goal as he shoots past Sam, off, in off the post, but no, called as offside by the Woolwell line out. Woolwell now countering AC as one of their number 17s takes on AC's number 17 and Captain Finn. Tries to take him on again, but this time he just plays it inside towards his other number 17, who takes on Bernie into the area, finds number 10 with a shot, looked offside, Coop saves, Bernie clears, 10 again, takes it round Samip, shoots in off of the both posts. 2-0 to Woolwell, and surely now game over. Woolwell have done well to nullify all of AC's attacks and go up the other end and score two. And so now AC have to score two very, very late on. And look at them swarming forward from kickoff. If only they do it every single time as George tries to take on their man down that far side. He hangs on to the ball. Little push there from the Woolwell man. And it's a free kick to AC. Cameron Coops as he's the only man left in AC's half as AC look to pile the pressure on. Gabe with a long run up takes that free kick into the area. Will heads it but it's nodded away. Samip heads it up rather than out. Gabe doesn't clear it convincingly, and now Woolworth on the counter. Long ball over the top. Coops shields it off from number 10 into towards his area, catches it. Coops then with not the best of drop kick outs, but there's absolutely no one putting the pressure on Fraser here who can stick it onto his stronger right foot and wait for a run as he sticks the ball over the top doesn't find Gabe ball bounces down to George here who goes to take on one man but he loses out Coops is still nowhere near his goal as well as stick the ball forward Samit leaves it for Coops Coops then takes the ball forwards about 10 yards and looks to clear it up pitch again but again it's not the best of kicks and Woolworth can come forward now with number 17 Coops is sprinting back in goal as 17 sticks the ball over the top 
towards number 10 that is, who goes around Finn, shoots, Coops saves, takes on Samip, shoots again and Coops manages to turn it behind the inside of his post. Well played Coops. He is shattered after that. Well played Coops. Will Will then take that resulting corner into the area. Coops parries it. Will up rather than out. Then again, 16 heads it goal with Samip off the line. That's AC's third goal line clearance of the game. And AC can clear it even further. AC will have to rue the chances they've missed today as Fraser runs down the left-hand side. You don't really see it, but he tries to take a shot on and that goes well over the bar and then the ref blows up for full time. Oh. Two nil to Woolwell in probably the most even game AC will have all season. They've won and drawn games in the past where they've played worse than that. It's just a shame they couldn't find the target. Here's how the league table looks now. Woolwell and Edgecombe have now finished their seasons. AC, Activate, Parkway and Saltash all have one game left and Elbert and have two games left. AC's last game of the season is at home to Elbert and Villa. Sunday the 7th of May, 2pm kickoff at Plimpton. So until then, thank you very much for watching and cheerio.